that told you what you are. He said, you are more than a conqueror. You don't see nowhere of God telling you that you're a loser. He said, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He's telling you who you are. So if your daddy is telling you, you ought to walk out the house every day with your head up. I am a royal child. Been adopted into the royal family of God. I am a priest and a joint heir with Christ Jesus. He's telling me who I am. They understand right like that. That's why it's very important that you tell the kids who they are. Amen. Yeah. Then the football coach ain't got to tell them. Yes. Because you already done told them. Yes. And say, well, God, God, we need to, some of us in here right now, we need to start ignoring the devil. Amen. Amen. And we, who, who not ignore folk in? Somebody look at somebody, try to talk to somebody, ignore real fast. Talk to your neighbor and your neighbor ignore. Talk to Ricky and Ricky ignore real fast. Talk to her. Ignore her. I, I'm trying to help you out. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm just doing Ignore somebody. Talk to your neighbor. And say, ignore real fast. Just ignore them. Come on. Just ignore them. Ignore real fast. Come on. Just real fast. Ignore your neighbor. Ignore them. They try. Just ignore them. Talk to me, Steve. Talk to me. Say, Pastor, Pastor. Come on, Steve. Give my attention. Come on, Steve. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, get my attention. Best Robin. Help! Help! I'm trying to help you out. Yes, See, Lord. I'm trying to, that's what we need to do to the devil. We just start ignoring everything the devil does. We just start ignoring that brother. Yes. Quit paying so much attention to that rascal. He doesn't mean anything in your life. Yes. Yes. All he comes to do is to steal and to kill and destroy. Why are you paying attention to somebody that's trying to kill you and destroy you? Ignore that mother. Well, he told me I ain't gonna make it. Ignore him. God told you you're gonna make it. Forget about what he's talking about. He said God ain't gonna heal me. The Bible says, by your stripes. Start believing God reports. Amen. Amen. I'm talking real good to you now. Amen. You can make it. Quit saying you can't. Yes. You can do this. Because yes. the great one lives in you. Yes. And you got to do this on a daily basis as a believer. This yes. is an every. This is an everyday fight. Yes. There's no time for you to be sleeping on your post. It's an everyday battle from the time you get out of bed to the time you lay back down. And sometimes they try to mess with you in your sleep. Amen. I, have, I have been fighting the enemy in my sleep. Loose here. Yes. Struggling with loose here. Yes. And then all of a sudden I say, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because say, what's in you is going to, if ain't no Jesus in you, ain't no Jesus going to come out of your dream. But if Jesus is in you, when you sleep and Jesus, and stuff don't happen in you, you get out, it's, it works because it's in you. And so I say, Lucy, in the name of Jesus, say the Lord rebuke you, and I wake up. Why? Because it's in you. Amen. See? You can stand up. Don't cause some work on your behalf, but you can stand. You can endure. You can take some stuff. But you got to get the word of God. Anybody got a mind to stand? Anybody got a mind to stand? See, if you, if you stand up for what you believe in, you won't fall for anything. I believe Jesus' word. I believe every bit of his word from Genesis to Revelation. Every drop of God's word, I believe it. And I believe God's word is forever settled in heaven. Ain't no new revelation coming out of heaven. The book is already written. It's already sealed. I believe it. All of God's word. 
And I stand firmly on God. Even when I'm wrong, God's right. Amen. Amen. And I've been wrong a lot of times. Amen. But God is always right. Amen. My opinion doesn't matter. It's what God says about the situation. So when you start taking it from that aspect of life, tell God to give you that strength to stand and start building your life on the word of God. There's areas in your life that you'll be able to stand. Know this, that Jesus loves you if nobody else don't love you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I know we need human love. Don't, um, don't, don't misquote me. It is good to have human love, but you better know that Jesus loves you above all. Amen. He loves you more than anyone could ever know. And you better know that without a shadow of a doubt. Amen. As Jada sung, Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Well, but everybody knows that song, right? You better know that. So if you, if you don't have a mind to stand today, as we stand, I'm going to let you go. I'll talk to you about 45 minutes today. I'm looking at the clock today. Stand today. So, Lord, we thank you today for our service. We bless your name. We glorify you in this house. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Because your word is true all by itself. We pray now for every individual under the sound of my voice that you will give each of us a mind to stand, Lord. That we do have what it takes because you have given us the weapons to stand in this warfare. Help us, Lord, in every area of our lives. Even those weak, you said, let the weak say, I'm strong. You give no one a way out, Lord, but you have made a way for them to come in. So, Father, we honor you in this house. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Let your will be done and not our will. Your way for our lives, not our direction. You know us. You made us. You formed us. Help us to be obedient to you and to your leading and to your guidance in each of our lives. Help us to repent of anything that's not like you. Then we bring it up under the blood of Jesus. We thank you now and we praise you now. In Jesus' mighty name. Now if you're here today 